yeah, I did change, and I'm really glad I changed. This one's wife. Her total panic. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Information provided by that bastion of journalistic excellence, Heat. Let's see what they have to write, and, as always, I provide you with the interpretation of apparent current events seen through the lens of her narcissism and also the dynamic between narcissist and victim. I provide you with the interpretation on the behaviours that no other will be able to preview. Heat reports... After jetting across the globe to be by his father's side following the King's shock cancer diagnosis, Prince Harry has been left watching on as his family rally around. And with London still calling, we're told this one's wife is concerned her husband could be swapping their Montecicco mansion for the palace once again. Pausing there. The possibility of Harry returning to the UK on a permanent or even semi-permanent basis, is naturally a problem for this one's wife on two bases. First, it pulls him away from her ambit of control because he will be in another country, making it harder for her to assert control over him. It will also create something of a gap in the fuel provision even though he's in the sustained devaluation, Harry is still the main provider of fuel to this one's wife. It's not going to send her into a crisis, because there are others that she can draw fuel from, but it would create quite a hole in her fuel matrix, whereby she wouldn't be able to draw fuel from Harry as often and as fulsome as she ordinarily does. The other problem is that it then creates pressure upon her to decide where she's going to base herself. And in the circumstances, it still remains the case that her narcissism sees the United Kingdom as a hostile environment, hostile populace, hostile press, hostile members of the royal family, and therefore it's loath for her to go there. Accordingly, the prospect of him returning to the United Kingdom on any basis is problematic to her need for control over Harry, the fuel provision needs that she requires, and overall with regard to the dynamic between her and him. The article continues. During a recent TV appearance, Prince Harry, 39, revealed that he jumped on a plane as soon as he heard of 75-year-old King Charles's illness. Talking about his father's health, the Duke of Sussex said, the fact I was able to get on a plane and go and see him and spend time with him, I'm grateful for that, adding, I think any illness, any sickness, brings families together. And now, with his UK family at the forefront of his mind, a source tells Heat that this one's wife, <coughs> 42, is taking the back seat, leaving her concerned over the Sussex's future in the United States. This one's wife understands that Harry isn't going to stop trying to make peace with his family, but she's worried about the impact it'll have on them if he has to keep flying home all the time, says our insider. Pausing there. Harry, naturally, will want to reconcile matters with his family. Part of this is that he does have emotional empathy for them. Also, it might be the case that he's starting to see a few gaps in the clouds, if you will. Hitherto, his mind has been heavily influenced by his wife's views and the belief that all was going to be idyllic in California and that they were doing the right thing, getting themselves away from a horrible, racist, controlling royal family. However, as time has gone on, even a dimwit like Harry will have started to notice some of the problems with regard to his wife's behaviours, and not least the fact that he misses the United Kingdom, both in terms of friends and family. Furthermore, he is not entirely cold-hearted, despite the things that he has done, with the fact that, with his father being unwell and his sister-in-law being unwell, will cause him to reconsider matters, and therefore he would deem it to be the right thing to do to at least be having visits. Accordingly, if he keeps flying home all of the time, 
that is going to place a particular strain upon his relationship with this one's wife because it makes him not only more difficult to control because he's not physically proximate, but the fact that he's engaging with people that are painted black by his wife makes him seen as traitorous by her. The article further continues by explaining her biggest fear is that he'll want them to move back to the United Kingdom. When they left, he couldn't wait to go, but now it seems he's nostalgic for the good times. That, of course, is entirely understandable. First of all, it was all exciting and fun. Oh, look at me, so the attention's on me for a change. He will have enjoyed that, being the spare, as everybody watched as he went to sunny California. But the dream that he was sold, as so often the case with the narcissist, turns into a nightmare. Not only does he suffer the sustained devaluation, but he has no support network. The financial pressures start to mount. He's only used to being a royal. He's not used to doing anything else. And being a celebrity that has to earn a living is not something that he is accustomed to. Away from family and friends, all of these pressures start to mount, and therefore a return to the United Kingdom, even if it's just for more visits, starts to prove more attractive. The article continues by explaining the Duke and Duchess stepped back as working royals in 2020, setting up home across the pond with their children Archie IV and Lilibet II, in case you'd forgotten. Soon after settling down in California, this one's wife alleged that members of the royal family had raised concerns over Archie's skin colour, revision of history, with Harry later branding his stepmother Camilla 76 as dangerous in his memoir Spare. Although once seemingly happy to have some distance from his former royal life, the Duke recently hinted that he's not fully ready to leave his past behind. During his recent TV appearance, Harry told host Will Reeve that while applying for American citizenship, a thought crossed my mind that it's not something that is a high priority for me right now. Do I feel American? I don't know. One source says, Although he loves the United States, he still feels a lot of guilt over leaving his family and friends. And of course, this is something that this one's wife won't care about because she wanted to manoeuvre him away from those individuals, a common tactic of the narcissist, to make it easier for her to control him and to make it less able for those individuals to interfere with her control of Harry. Furthermore, the article tells us the fact he's made a point of saying US citizenship isn't a priority has added to this one's wife's worries, as indeed it would, because it means that her control of him isn't as good as it could be. He's homesick, and always talks about how he misses his life in the United Kingdom. Again, such comments will be challenge fuel to this one's wife. She's concerned that he could demand they move back, which she's not willing to do. He's constantly pleading, I think they mean repeatedly, with her to come for a visit, and he's now saying he wants to celebrate his 40th in London later this year. She understands that he's homesick, but it's alarming her that he's not embracing their life in America more. Pausing there, this was always going to be a risk, leaving aside the issue of her being a narcissist. The fact that he, who has grown up in the United Kingdom, within the rarefied atmosphere of the royal family, is suddenly extricated from that and plonked in a very different environment. Yes, the language is similar, but finding himself not only in the United States, but in California, which is a different place again from much of the United States, is a huge cultural shift for Harry, and something that not everybody would be able to deal with and embrace. Layer on top of that the fact that he has been cut off from most of his family, as a consequence of his own behaviour and the behaviours of his wife, that makes acclimatisation all the more difficult. Add to that the sustained devaluation that he's been experiencing from his wife, it's hardly a surprise that he's not embracing life in America more and that he's hankering for a return to the United Kingdom. This is a major problem for this one's wife. Although he's in the sustained devaluation, she shows no immediate sign of jettisoning him, 
and this is because she still needs the royal connection, because without it, she's absolutely nothing. She just becomes a nobody once again. All of her ventures to try and go it alone have failed. She's failed politically, she's failed as an author, she's failed as a philanthropist, she's failed so far with this alternative uh, brand lifestyle that she sought to create. That's not got off the ground. Content creation has led nowhere. And she's sort of groping around in the dark trying to switch on the light switch of success and so far has been unable to do so. And the only thing that is maintaining a degree of relevance is her marriage to Harry and the royal connection. Without that, she'll just sink back to being a D-list mediocre actress again. Thus, she's not going to jettison him until the situation improves, as I've explained previously, and with him making noises about a return to the United Kingdom, that's doubly problematic. It means her control is weakening over him, and it could mean that if he insists on returning, then she is facing a very difficult decision. Does she let him go back? Or does she go with him in order to maintain control over him, but then have to deal with all of the other threats to control that a move to the United Kingdom would pose by virtue of the perception of a hostile press, a hostile populace, etc.? It is not an inviting choice for this one's wife. The article concludes by explaining, The source also says that while this one's wife is trying to be sympathetic, she's worried she could lose Harry when she needs him the most. The situation with his dad has hit Harry hard, we're told, but at the end of the day, he's got his own family to support now. The Sussex brand is pushing forward at a such a fast rate, which means they need to be 100% focused, and unfortunately, Harry's mind is elsewhere. This one's wife knows they should be delivering on all the work promises they've made, but Harry's always checking for news about his family in Britain. She feels like she's losing him and is terrified this could break them apart. And with Harry prioritising mending his royal relationships, leaving this one's wife to take the reins with work, we're told the Duchess is feeling the pressure, our source says Harry is driven by emotion. That's one of the things this one's wife loves about him. Indeed, it means he fountains with fuel. But it can also be frustrating. She's worried that the more time he spends back home, the more likely it will be that he wants to move back. And, of course, as I've explained, that amounts to a huge threat to control. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.